Good morning, good morning, Rock Church, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, brothers and sisters, friends and family. It is good to be with you all on this sanctified Sunday. Come on, y'all. We were set apart. We were set apart for God's special work and His purpose. I'm so glad we don't forget that, Sister Johnson. Hey, let us pray. Father God, we love you. We thank you for an opportunity to gather this morning. Oh, God, 37 days in your word, daily devotion. Mm. God, I pray that we won't forget what you've already deposited in us. May we go forth, God. May your word do exactly what it was intended for it to be. We know it will never return to you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Have your way, oh God. Open up our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, come on in. We're going to grab you on in here. Got this word for you this morning. You see the title of the message this morning, Enduring in Christ. Enduring in Christ. Yeah, that's right. The question I have for you this morning, are we going, okay, what do you do when you undergo some tough decisions that you have to make? What do you do? You know there are decisions that you're going to have to make, you know. Hey, they may be relational. There may be some things you, you know, decide, look, I'm going to be this way in this relationship, okay? I'm going to be godly. I'm going to do what's right. It may be even, you know, has something to do with your job, with your coworkers. How are you going to endure? You might have to make some tough decisions, man, right? So what do you do? Do you walk away from making tough decisions? Do you, do you throw your hands up and say, look, man, I quit because I got to make this tough decision? See, the truth of the matter is we're going to make some tough decisions. We're going to have to accept those choices we make. And we're going to have to be okay with that. And I think sometimes as Christians, man, we forget that, hey, man, we are relational people. But first of all, the first and foremost basic most important relationship that we should always think about is that relationship with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's right. And he's going to make, as long as we are in Christ, we're going to have to make some real decisions. Like, there may be some things that you're saying that may not be of Christ, right? It may be permissible, but it may not be beneficial. So you got to think about what decisions I need to make. And they need to be tough, but they need to be godly so that you can watch God do some things in our lives. Now, my brothers and sisters, the truth of the matter, the only wise way and the only fruitful way that we can maintain making these tough decisions is that we abide in Jesus. Come on, somebody. Deepen our relationship, not letting go. Okay? The rhyme of word for this sanctified Sunday is found in... Watch this, John chapter 15, verse 4. It's going to help us to withstand these tough decisions we're going to have to make. And I hope this resonates with you today. Come on now, let's read the word of God. It's going to be found in a New King James Version I'm going to read this morning. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So John is using this concept of abiding. In other words, he says enduring. That's right. Enduring and remaining in Christ in order for something to happen though. In order for Christ's power, come on now, to be initiated in your life. The power of Christ. See, as the vine, man, the vine is what's going to keep everything strong. The only way the fruit can grow, it has to have a sturdy vine to grow on. Once that vine is cut, man, the life source of that fruit is dead. So if we need to make these tough decisions, let's make these tough decisions with Christ's power resting on us. Come on now, come on now. Look, look, look. This is what I found out. For a person to be spiritually fruitful, they must be connected and remain connected to a source of fruit. The source that's going to give you the nutrients. Come on now. And I know sometimes when we make these tough decisions, it's like, man, I, 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 I'm not sure if I should do this. And, and we wallow in making these decisions. Man, I'm talking about making tough decisions has to do with your physical being. Maybe you need to think about, man, I want to do something different. I want to, I want to get off these pills I may be taking. And maybe the reason why we take pills and medication is maybe because it's what we put in our bodies. Come on, somebody. I understand things are hereditary, that things happen, but think about it. 
You can make some tough decisions with your diet. Come on now. Listen to me. You can make some tough decisions. Hey, man. Hey, mentally. Like, listen. I'm not going there. I'm not going to be invested my time in this, that, another. That's going to mess up my mental state. You can have to make some tough decisions in being social. Okay? Some social tough decisions. Like, listen. I'm not socially. This is not going to be good for me if I socialize in this capacity. Look. The truth of the matter is we want to make sure we are staying connected. Now, brothers and sisters, look, 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 look. If you are not making decisions, these tough decisions, you're going to find yourself barren, okay? In other words, you, you're not going to be able to be, be productive, okay? You don't want to be in a barren state. So I used to be a conflict of order. That means I didn't want to make tough decisions at all because I wanted people to like me. And I, and I didn't want to offend people. Now, I'm not a person who want to be offensive to people. But sometimes when you're doing right, it becomes offensive to people who want to do wrong. That's just the truth, brothers and sisters. People want to call you this, that, and another. But the truth of the matter is God had to take me from that barren state that I was in avoiding conflict. In other words, I wouldn't even speak the truth. I would just go along to be alone. Time out for all that stuff. Make the tough decision to say what's right, to do what's right, and make good choices. You go from a bare place to spiritual fruit, okay? And when you start being spiritual fruitful, you see things in your life, and then spiritual fruit produce much fruit. Come on, somebody. I love the fact that you grow in Christ. You continue to multiply. You continue to receive the increase. But you got to endure in Christ. So, here's the deal. If we want to have this connection and to abide in the source of life, we got to stay connected to him, okay? Now, the question is, are you ready to release your faith this sanctified Sunday, knowing that we all have the opportunity to move from barrenness to spiritual fruit to much fruit? I want much fruit. I want more fruit so I can give it all out. Come on, somebody. I want it like grapes. I like it. Fruit come in bunches so we can share with one another. So all you got to do is keep it simple, saying, say how? There are two things I need you to incorporate in your spiritual walk so that you can endure. You can make these tough decisions. Number one, walk in obedience. Come on, somebody. Read the whole chapter, John chapter 15, okay? I want you to read the whole chapter because I want you to see what God is saying. So that when we bear Christ-like character, guess what? We can make Christ-like decisions. Yes, we can. And he's going to prompt us, he's going to lead us, and he's going to order our steps so that we can be in alignment. Number two, come on now, willing to persevere. Indeed, to maintain the security that we have that is attached to Christ. In other words, we must maintain our devotion to him. Yeah, that's right. The law is the ultimate. The law should be the ultimate of what we seek to do every day. First, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto us. That's right, brothers and sisters. I read this piece I want to share with you. It says, our devotional life is indispensable. It is the choice, it's the one choice we need to make each day, okay? We need to make this choice. If walking with him is not our main concern, then there is no other way to abide in Jesus. Jesus himself warned us that anything we do apart from him will result in nothing, nothing of eternal value that will bring glory unto God. Oh, that is true, brothers and sisters. Come on now. Endure in Christ. Make the tough decisions. Hey, man, step away from things that is not going to bear you fruit, but it's going to have you bear in. Make the decisions. Trust God in the process and see what happens. Father God, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for this sanctified Sunday. Oh, God, I bless you that my brothers and sisters have been in tune for the last 37 days. We got, God, I thank you for that these 37 days the daily refresh devotion, God, it's been a choice that we have made. And making that choice, God, is so con it's so encouraging to know that we are connecting with you. We are remaining in with you. But God, I pray that we're not just listening, but we become doers. Come on, somebody. God, have your way. Continue to help us to grow, God, that we be not just spiritual fruit, but we bear much fruit for the kingdom of God and that we can share it gladly.
with joy. And then tough decisions come, we'll make them in Christ. Because we're set apart. May you be glorified. In Jesus' name. Y'all been kissed again this morning. Listen, y'all. Y'all keep it simple, saints. Know this. <laughs> you got the right tools to make the right decisions. As you endure in Christ. Man, look at here. I'm going to be at 5628 West Washington at 1030 this morning. We're going to worship at the Rock of Our Salvation Church. My invitation goes out to each and every one of you. Come on, somebody. Come on, meet me there. I love you. God's blessings on you. Thank you for praying for me. Have a good day.